Hello and welcome to this faith moment and I've called it What's God Like? Well, a few years ago I was sitting in the busy cafe area at the annual Christian gathering called Spring Harvest quietly minding my own business when someone asked if I minded if he could sit at my table. I suppressed my instinct to say no, uh, leave me alone in peace, uh, making a mental note to repent later of my negative unfriendly attitude, and mumble something along the lines of, I could. Anyway, it was one of the few available seats, and fortunately we both behaved like true Brits, not speaking and barely acknowledging each other's presence. Then he spotted what I was reading. Well, I'd like to tell you that I was reading Leviticus for the second time that day, the first read in my extensive quiet time before breakfast. I wish. In fact, I was reading a copy of Christianity, a magazine they often give away during spring harvest to encourage new subscribers. I probably would not have picked it up if it hadn't been free, so that's how holy I really am. Anyway, his question cracked the layer of ice protecting my British reserve. What do you think of it? he asked. Well, it's not bad. I probably understatedly replied, meaning overall pretty good, but it was still in my leave me alone mode. There is a good article called What's God Like? I've often wondered how we know, he remarked. Well, there was no backtracking. The ice melted, my curiosity was stimulated, so we both fell into a discussion about what we thought about God, what he is like and how we know and why it matters. But why should we bother to find out what God is like, you may ask. Surely he will reveal himself to us as we grow as Christians. Well, of course he will. But there is an accompanying danger that we may fall into the trap of creating a comfortable God who suits our particular needs, thus limiting our understanding of what being a disciple could be like and how we can fulfil his mission for us all too easy to approach God from the wrong starting point, starting with ourselves and looking outward, rather than starting with the God who is revealed in Scripture and discovering where we fit in. I am convinced that a better way to explore what God is like is through the many phrases used to describe him in the Bible, because, as we will discover, our God is so much bigger than we can ever imagine. If we do this, we really discover now, as individuals, how we can become closer to this awesome God and to begin to fulfil His mission for us. We are all called to witness. So I wonder if you have thought about what you might say if a new Christian, or even an old one, were to ask, what is God like? Now, as I reflected on my response to my own question about God, four of his names that have meant a lot to me over the years sprang to mind. They can be found in Revelation 1 verse 8. This is it. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Now, you know, I particularly love the phrase who is and who was and who is to come. It appears to my mathematical nature exploring how someone can simultaneously be in three places at once. But please don't be put off by the M word. God is someone who is now and who was then and who is coming. That tells us so much about God, life, the universe and everything. So, 
whether you try out my suggestion to look out for God's names by searching through scripture or not, do try to get to know some of the many descriptions of God that can be found on the internet and be enlightened, challenged and encouraged. Spend a little time with each description you find. They will paint a picture of an awe-inspiring God. Better still, spend time with the God whose name you have discovered. You will not be disappointed. Now, discerning people may have spotted that I like jokes. And while I was writing this, my butterfly mind recalled a story of a small child busily drawing at the kitchen table. Her mother asked, What are you drawing? God, came the crisp reply. But no one knows what God looks like, asserted the mother. They will when I finished, retorted the girl. Even though there is no description which fully explains what God is like, I hope you, dear listener, find time to work at forming a constantly developing picture of our God and be ready to explain what he could be like to others when asked to do so. My prayer is that through this searching you will meet with God in a fresh way, a way that encourages you and helps you realise how incredible it is to be a member of his family. Well, Thank you very much for listening and watching.